what is going on fishing two wheel uh we are here at um this is the guadalupe river this is the the dam portion the dam is up there i don't know if you can see that but the dam is up there right on the other side of that that pole so um but we're here to catch rainbow trout all right so we got the waders on we got an official trout net so we're ready to go because we'll probably be standing in the water today but um this is all we're bringing we're only bringing lures so these are uh tubes we got some grubs we got um some jig heads for the grubs we got um the like a little fish got flies got some rooster tails um spoons and these are just for um for adding weight to any of the grubs or for the fish all right so this is where we're at the guadalupe river south trail um uh, i guess if you're a bird watcher it also shows you can um do some fly fishing which we're gonna be doing trying to get some uh rainbow trout but yeah we're just now stocking so we've been fishing for nothing really there's nothing here but hopefully the rainbow trout are hungry Number two, that's how we do things here. compared to other ones but it's number three all right so we are back at the truck pretty much packed up um, the rooster tail saved the day caught all three of them on the rooster tail the, the spinning wheel did not work so uh, we, we went with the rooster tail um, also they didn't when we were fishing initially they hadn't even stocked them yet so that could have been a problem as well. So we, we might have caught them on the on the flies and stuff, but no tell. But we do have our three. I put them on ice. Caught that big one first. The they're all in order as I caught them. So caught this big one first, the smaller one second, and the smallest one third. Um, what we 
doing a little catch clean cook if we can. Um, we're gonna head home right now. Like I said, that's the end of the day. We caught our three. Wish we would have caught our five. That'd have been awesome. But sometimes you can't catch them all. But catch clean and cook coming right at you here soon, and I'll see you at the house. All right, so we are at home, back at home, and we have the fish. We're gonna do a skinless fillet or skinless butter. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need your nice, nice knife. Those are the two one, the, the two biggest ones. That's the biggest one. Second biggest. This little guy here but they all will taste delicious first thing what you're gonna do is can you see that yeah so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fillet it just like you would any other fish come in here touch that backbone make sure you get all the meat off What you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you don't go all the way down to the end of the tail you're gonna open up that fish or you can leave it like that you can leave it flat just so you can do a better fillet but same exact thing just like you will fillet of any other fish but the only difference is is you're not taking the fish off all right you are not taking that fish all the way off the fillet. Let's move this out of the way now. All right. Can't get no much. Can't get much better than that. So what you do is you got your good knife, nice sharp knife. You can cut all the way through that backbone, especially through these little trout. All you're gonna do is you're gonna come on this side, catch that skin. Even you can always use another knife that works as well, just as well if you use another knife. But and then what you do is fillet it like you would any other fish. But make sure you stay as low as you possibly can to that skin until just the, the skin comes off and then you have nothing on that side and you go on the other side and do the exact same thing do the exact same thing catch you a little skin Make sure that tail is facing the opposite direction or the same direction that you're cutting. Take all that skin off. Now you got your two fillets. Uh oh, I missed a little, missed, a, missed some skin. You can always come back. You can always come back and. Get your knife, kind of do a fillet that off. Missing a little meat in there, but come on. That off. Like I said, now you got your 
your fillets that don't have any meat on it, I mean, uh, any skin on it. Now, if you want to, you can keep the, the rib cage. I don't. It's got too many bones in it, so come in here, fillet that out, just like so. Lay that out just like so. And now you got your, your, your done um, butter, your skinless butterfly. All right, so we're about to do the, the cooking portion back home. Um, got these fillets all cleaned up. And uh, we're just gonna do a little fry, nothing too serious. I got the, the, the oil heating up right now, so I'm about to make the batter and I'll show you exactly what you need. All right, so the ingredients you're gonna need, garlic powder, onion powder, black pepper, and this is just some fish market coastal blend. Do you guys, you wanna say hi? All right, so um, all you need to do, and then also you need some yellow cornmeal and all-purpose flour. Now, um, you can use a bowl, you can use a bag, doesn't really matter, but you put it, put your cornmeal in there generously, plenty of cornmeal. You're gonna do more cornmeal than flour. All right, what's flour? Yeah. This is flour, it's all purpose flour. All right, so we're gonna do cornmeal, white flour. We mix that together. And once again, you can do this in a bowl, but I'd, I'd rather do it in a bag because I can just toss it on. Let's, let's clean up for me anyway. Um, open the bag up. You're gonna get your garlic powder. Make sure you're generous with how much seasoning you put in there. All right. Then you're gonna get your onion powder. All right. Your black pepper. The Market Coastal Blend. I want to put it in there. You want to put it in there? Yeah. All right, here. Put some it's in there. The put some in there. And that's good. That's good. Thank you. That smells good. Mm -hmm. Smells good, right? right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes your nose itch. Your nose itch. Mine too. You're going to mix all that together. Once you got your, your everything mixed together, this is the, the game changer. I'm about to Yeah, this is milk. Milk. That's the game changer right there. Alright. Game changer? What? So <coughs> instead of doing instead of using a binder like um like egg wash or um anything olive oil doesn't matter. I use uh milk. It does the same thing. So let me show you how to do that. All right, so put milk in the container. You're gonna get your fish. Make sure it's nice and washed off. And this this way, you don't have to make sure it's had it dry. You just need to make sure that it's nice and clean. But you drop it in the milk. All right, so after you get this dropped in the milk, Swirl it around, make sure it gets coated well. After it gets coated well, kind of shake it off a little bit, shake the milk off. Let it drip. And you're gonna get it off in there. We're gonna we're gonna fry some more fish, so I'm gonna need 
I'm gonna need that. I'll put that off to the side. Toss that fish around in here. Just like so. Get it fully coated, just like that. And then it's ready for the it's ready for the grease. Let's go check that grease out. Alright, so uh, the grease is probably like overly hot, but you gotta get cooking. So uh, I just have it kind of low, but it's still hot. So uh, all you do is get your, your fish pieces, you just drop them in there. Let me show you what one of these looks like going in. Alright. And the wheels are who you don't cry too often. Don't put too much in there because that's what happens. All right. But also, if you don't fry too much, a good rule of thumb is for frying: if it's floating, it's ready. All right. So basically, what happens is when you grab it, you, you don't you don't have to go digging for it. All right. All you gotta do is, you just reach in there. I think that look good. I think that look good. Look good to me. Hey, you can always let it darken, get darker. Fry up a little more, however, however long you want, but once they start floating like this, you see them moving around, I don't know if you saw that. Moving around on top. It's ready to go. Alright. And all you do is you can put some paper towels in a in a container just like that. You see how that big piece that we put in there is floating now? That piece over there is floating. There we go. There's another piece that we dropped off in there. That's good. See how that, that uh, butterfly looks. We got that piece floating over there. Catch that one. But I'm let that golden up a little bit. Make that brown. But uh, once this is done, I will show y'all what it looks like once you once you all. Uh, ready to eat all right so the fish is done my, i got my professional taste testers with me they're gonna take a bite mm. is it good mm. yeah yeah it's really good all right well that's the end of the catch clean and cook Bye. please <laughs> please like subscribe <laughs> comment Click that notification button. I want to do it. Can and I as always, it? what do we say? Keep fishing real. Keep fishing Keep real. real.